Hello there, this is Dr. Ridwan. Welcome to the part 3 of the video series called Complete Blood Count Test Explanation. Today, we are going to talk about complete and differential count of WBC or white blood cells. If you have not seen the part 1 and part 2 videos already, then I would like to suggest you to watch those videos first so that you don't have any confusions with various words and terminologies I'm going to use in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. Complete count of a particular blood cell in the body means how many of that cell is present in one microliter of blood. If you do not know what a microliter is, then before you go any further in this video, please watch the first video of this series called Complete Blood Count Test Explanation Part 1. The link of the video will be in the description section below. Normal range of total count of WBC per microliter is 4000 to 11000, which means each microliter of a normal human blood contains approximately 4000 to 11000 white blood cells. This is called the total count of WBC. Please notice carefully, this is not actually the total number of WBCs present in the body. This is just an estimation of how much WBC is usually found in a microliter. But we can actually determine or estimate how much WBCs are there in the blood of a human being. It is fairly simple. All we have to do is calculate how many microliters of blood are there in human body and then multiply it by the total count of WBC estimated in each microliter. For example, let's imagine we estimated there are 6000 WBCs per microliter of a person. Now let us calculate the total number of WBC present in his blood. We know a healthy adult individual has approximately 5 to 6 liters of blood in his circulatory system. In this particular case, let's say the person's blood cell we are counting has 5 liters of blood. 5 multiplied by 1 million equals to 5 million microliters. Because we know each liter of blood equals to 1 million microliters. 5 million microliters multiplied by 6000 equals to 30 billion white blood cells. This is the estimated number of white blood cells that can be found in 5 liters of blood. But that is just an estimation. The real number can be different. It is not possible to count every white blood cell one after another with the current technology at hand. Now let us move to the next part of the video called differential count of the WBC. A differential count means count of the different types of WBCs in each microliter. We know that. There are five different types of WBCs present in the body. Again, this is another estimation that predicts how many and which kind of WBCs are present in the body. For example, let's think about the person whose total WBC count we have measured earlier. After we entered the blood sample into the cell counter machine, the result came out as such. Total count is 6000 per microliter. Among them, neutrophils are 75%, lymphocytes are 20%, monocytes are 2%, eosinophils are 2% and basophils are 1%. This means among the 6000 WBCs, 75% are neutrophils, 20% are lymphocytes, 2% are monocytes. 2% eosinophils and basophils are 1%. Now, 
we should know the normal ranges of these differential counts. Please have a look. That's all for today. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.